Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. In the last episode, we focused a little bit more on the Royal Family of Oasis Springs. They had twins, which was a huge surprise to me. I was not expecting that. So now the Royal Family of Oasis Springs has four kids. So that is the most out of any royal family in any kingdom that we have. But in this episode, we are actually going to focus on the royal family of Willow Creek because we haven't hung out with them in a while. So we actually get to do that today, which I'm excited about because as I've mentioned many times in the past, Princess Cora is one of my favorites. She's one of my favorite, favorite Sims. I love her so much. So I'm excited to hang out with her and the royal family of Willow Creek. Before we start today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notifications and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Mira Ray underscore. And let's go ahead and begin today's episode. As I mentioned, we are focusing today on the royal family of Willow Creek. So I have added some of our custom content to their nurseries. I did a kind of basically a separate bedroom for Princess Belle. This is kind of her section of it, but of course she gets to share with her brothers. So I have her brothers in this room right here. So it's a little more boyish for them. I mean, the beds are very elegant, but they're super cute. They have like little teddy bears hugging on it. I think it's really, really cute. So this is basically all the changes we've made. I mean, everything else in this castle or palace is pretty much the same. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh. Prince Louis is making a huge mess. His father is going to give him a talking to. That is for sure. Discipline recent behavior. Be firm. Tell him not to make a mess. And we need to get the butler to clean that mess wherever the butler is because I haven't actually seen him slash her in a while. I don't know who our butler is, to be honest. I don't see them anywhere. This is supposed to be their bedroom. Oh, wait, is that the butler? Yes, I found the butler. Okay, I should probably introduce ourselves. But let's see. Assign tasks. How do you make them? Oh, stop repairing objects. Stop cleaning. No, we want you to do those. Reprimand, praise, visitors. That's these. These are none of what we want to do. I guess he just knows to clean. He probably will know to clean. We should probably introduce ourselves to him, though. So Princess Cora, I get to show you guys. I have not shown you guys the CC that we have for them. So I'm going to show that to you guys. Oh, gosh, I'm so excited to show this. So, OK, well, we'll let her introduce herself to the butler first. <laughs> I kept her hair because I think it's so elegant and it looks amazing on her. So I decided to keep it. I didn't give her any CC for her hair or anything, but I did give her CC for clothes. So this is her everyday wear. It's extremely elegant. I love it so, 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 so much. I think it's gorgeous and perfect for her. So that is her everyday outfit. And then I'll show you, this is her formal wear. So I'm, well, we just gotta make sure. Oh, there we go. Okay. So she changed into this. So she's still, oh my gosh, look at this dress. It's taking up the entire space. <gasps> That's so big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's going through the walls and everything, guys. That dress is so big. She has a smaller tiara on. That's because she's still a princess. You guys can also see Prince Edmund's uh, everyday outfit. So, or not everyday. This is his formal outfit. I don't really love how low the crown is, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. But this is his everyday wear. He's still a prince, so he does have a smaller crown. I have princess or queen Elena, so she's the queen now. So her dress isn't isn't extremely elegant, but she's an elder. But look at that amazing diamond necklace. Like it's amazing. But this is her crown. This is the crown that I found for them. I ended up finding this after I did my CC haul video, but I mean, guys, look how gorgeous. All of this, by the way, is on my Pinterest board, so I'm putting that link in the description below too. But this one's amazing, guys. I mean, like, it's blue. It's perfect. It's gorgeous. Queen or Princess Cora is going to wear this when she's queen as well. So that is going to be super, super exciting. So this is Queen Elena. I didn't do too much else with her custom content. I just did this basically. So, oh gosh. Oh, yep. She's getting, she's getting older. Why is Princess Belle so angry? Where is she? Where? What? Where's? Where is she? She's making a mess somewhere. Oh, she's planning on it. Nope. We're going to stop you before you do that. Sugar, now. Oh my gosh. What goes up must come down, right? Now the sugar has left and the down is way down. Oh no. Okay. She needs to sleep or something. Let's sleep. She can sit and chat there too. That's adorable. Okay. I am also going to show you... Did I get a crown for King Derek? I don't actually remember. I, I did. 
I did. Okay, so this is a crown I found for King Garib. It actually doesn't go very well with his hair because it looks like his hair is kind of going through it. It's smaller for sure than King Henry of Windenburg's crown, but it's the best thing I could find, guys. If you guys have other custom content for crowns and such, please, please, please drop the link below because the king's crowns are just very, very non-existent. Oh, it's really sad, actually. I wish there was way, way more. So I'm going to show you guys also the outfits of... We have our Princess Belle. So these are her new outfits. So you guys haven't quite seen these yet. So this is her formal outfit. She's a little tiara, very similar to our little princesses of Windenburg and their crown. She does have different hair than them. She has a lot of hair guys i don't actually know if like i don't see why she would have curly hair because neither of her parents have curly hair but i just thought it was so cute and just looks like a for real princess she has like a bow and everything she is adorable we also have our little twins there's no crowns for little toddler boys unfortunately so i don't have much to show for them oh my gosh this is just turned into this giant mess where's the butler the butler needs to clean this. This is ridiculous, guys. I mean, seriously. How much longer do they have before they age up? 21 days. And they're younger than Princess Amira of Windenburg. So she, that means she's probably going to age up soon. Oh, gosh. That is going to be oh, so exciting. I'm really excited, guys. These kids are just... They're too cute. So what I actually wanted to do was travel. Oh my gosh, her dress looks so elegant. Look at that. Oh, okay. Anyway, so I wanted to travel to the Windenburg Kingdom, basically like a little family get together sort of thing. So we're going to travel with our whole family here. So I kind of want to invite. So, okay, well, let's see. Uh, do we want to invite? I don't think we need to invite Queen Elena and King Derek. I kind of just wanted to be like the siblings, so I'm going to invite- oh, not King Derek, that's what I just said, duh. Okay, so Prince Jack, Prince Louis, we want to invite Prince Edmund, we want to invite Princess Belle, and we could invite Princess Anna, she should probably come too. I don't see her boyfriend on here though. I don't know if we've- if they've met the little kids at um or the princes of brindleton bay so i should probably have them travel over there too so you guys can also see them so we'll make like a few trips kind of just get to see the family because those are princess cora's cousin is king jared there's so many names guys i don't even know if you guys can keep track of these names because i just like list them out in my head and trying to remember it is super duper super super hard all right well she decided to show up in her formal outfits i forgot they're all in their formal wear they probably don't need to be oh my gosh look at the dress you guys it's just it's so funny it probably didn't need to be that long but it's still extremely beautiful all right i'm going to have prince edmund change out of his yeah, he doesn't need to wear his formal wear. So we'll have him change out of that. And then it's really, really dark out here. I mean, seriously. Oh my gosh, it's 4 a.m. I did not even realize that it is 4 a.m. We need to bring all of the kids inside. This is just, this is too much. I kind of wish our castle was a little bit further back. I might try to move it. I'm not 100% sure. But I do want to get all of the kids in here. So we're going to have to say go here together. And I think that will bring all the kids inside with us. So Princess... Oh, Princess Anna's here too. The whole family's sort of here. It is so, so dark out here though. I mean, geez. Okay, so I'm going to have us talk to the kids. So... This is Prince Kellen. So this is her nephew. She hasn't apparently actually introduced herself to Prince Kellen. So we're going to do a friendly introduction. And then we, I guess the toddlers can't really introduce themselves to him. We can have them dance with him. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, share the love. Oh, that's so cute. She can share the love. That is so cute. Princess Belle, you are adorable. I still wish she had brown hair because she's Belle. I was hoping she would since her mother has the brown hair. And Oh no, not her mother. Oh gosh, no. Princess Cora does not have brown hair. Prince Edmund has the brown hair. So I was hoping she would too, but yeah, doesn't doesn't look like she does. So Prince Kellen, brain his day. We're going to have you introduce yourself to- oh God, you have to introduce yourself to everyone. Princess May stinks apparently. I think she has a dirty diaper. So they definitely need to fix that. I want Prince Edmund to introduce himself too. So 
Introduce yourself to Prince Kellen. Introduce yourself to Princess Bay. She's running away. Oh my gosh. She's so... Guys, look how cute she is. Oh my gosh. She's adorable. She's running. She's running. Look at her run. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. Why is this so cute? I cannot take this. Oh my gosh. Is Princess Amira here too? Where is she? She's upstairs on her lonesome, I guess. Oh, Princess Belle's coming up here. She can go talk to her. Share the love. She's gonna go share the love. Oh, they're both blonde. They're adorable. Okay. She's walking over to her cousin, it looks like. They haven't, like, technically... Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh. Is this the cutest? It doesn't look like Princess Amir. Oh! Oh! She... <laughs> Bite? <gasps> what? They... Are not getting along. No, she's your cousin. Get along with her. Okay, in her defense, Princess Amira was kind of being a little... Mm, she's being not very nice. Can you be nice now? Okay, good. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, they're getting along now, which is good. Oh my gosh. A rivalry between them would be very interesting, though. Okay, can you share the love now? Will this... Would, will she be into this if you share the love with your cousin? Oh, yeah, okay. They like each other now. That's good. I was super, super worried about that. Okay, so we want Prince Louis. Are you talking with your cousins and everyone? <gasps> Don't make a mess. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. <gasps> this is not your house. We're not supposed to do this. Oh, my gosh. Guys, the kids are out of control. The toddlers are taking over. Okay, go talk to your cousin. Wait, I can't do any interaction with them? Why? What if, can Princess Belle interact with him? Princess Belle can interact with everyone because she shares the love, apparently. But why can't, why can't our princess interact with, with their, oh, they're hugging. That's too cute. Okay, dance with Prince May. Princess May. Prince May. Dance with Princess May. Does this get your relationship at all? Can you do any other interaction besides dancing with her or no? Look at Prince Kellen just sitting here on the couch. He's such a gentleman. Oh, he's so cute, guys. He is so, so cute. This is adorable. He just moved to be closer to his mother, too. That was super, super cute. This, I, I'm so obsessed with our royal family. I can't even... Uh, I can't even... Okay, so Princess Belle was supposed to come over here and go talk to her other cousins. So she's going to try to share the love with Princess May. And hopefully Princess May won't react as badly as Princess Amira did. Because that was not, not good. Okay, it looks like they see each other. They're coming towards each other. Princess Belle is just wobbling over. It doesn't look like she's as good of a walker as her cousins are. That's for sure. So, how is this gonna go? Oh, they get along too! Oh my gosh. Okay, they're too cute. Alright, babble. Maybe talk to them a bit. Princess Cora is holding her niece. Look how cute they are, guys! Princess Amira looks up, because I remember if you, if you guys have seen the last episode, I mentioned that uh, Princess Amira, or pr sorry, Princess Cora is Princess Amira's role model, and then Princess Anna is Princess May's role model. Where are you going with her, by the way? What do you, place Princess Amira in? Oh, in kiddie pool! <gasps> That's so cute! Okay, so it looks like the kids are still dancing together, and Princess Alice is breaking down. Oh my gosh. She is so into this music. What is wrong with you, Boogie Downer, from dancing to music? That's being a little dramatic, dude. Don't go here. Where did you bring that cake out from? <laughs> Our toddler is keeping cake in his pocket, guys. Oh my god, that was- why was that so funny? That was so funny. He should not be eating cake by himself like this. I am not okay with this. You, you, all right, you're, you're ridiculous. All right, we'll just leave him be. He's doing his own thing. Everyone else is dancing, it looks like. King Henry just became good friends with Prince Jack. Oh, Prince Jack is like super close with his uncle now. That's super, super sweet. Prince Louis is walking in here. It looks like he's done eating his cake, apparently. We want... I hate that they can't interact with them. That is just, like, that's so unrealistic. Princess Amira is just... Oh, not Amira. That's not Princess Amira. This is Princess Belle. It looks like she was getting on with, getting along with her cousins. I don't think she shared the love with Prince Kellen yet, though. So I'm gonna have her do that. I mean, she's the closest with all her cousins. 
Her brothers can't even interact with them, which is so stupid, guys. I, I hate that. So she is at least close with her cousins. And then I guess when the others become kids, they can become close with them too. But I'm going to at least show you guys the new portraits that I did of King Henry and Queen Alice. So these are the new portraits. I added the crowns. I, you can't see the whole crown, so I'll probably do portraits that are also far away. The only thing is that he's wearing this outfit, as you can see, but so is his father in his portrait, King George, and then so is King Kellen in his portrait. So I should probably have them wear something else. I, I should have had them all wear their crowns. Maybe I'll like, I'll try to remake them maybe and do it, but I don't think I could. I don't know. I, I wish I saved them in my library because I don't think I did, but that would have really come in handy if I needed to take any pictures from the past or anything. That would have been pretty, pretty cool. So I did the portraits for them and then so you guys could see that. And then I haven't updated their room yet. I know a few of you were saying that it is a little girly for Prince Kellen to have this room as well. So I might do what I did with the royal family of Willow Creek and kind of separate their room a little bit, like do some sort of divider. I haven't decided yet. I mean, this is supposed to be his room when he's older. Why is Prince Louis? Because he had sugar? Yeah, because you were the one eating cake. You were not going to go make a mess. I see what you were trying to- <gasps> No, our other child is making a mess! Guys, this is not our house. You should not be doing this. This, you guys are, I mean, ugh, gosh, they, we, we need to clean this up. This is not our house. Sorry. So sorry, Queen Alice and King Henry. Do not mean to make a mess in your palace. All right, so they've hung out with their family for quite a bit now. I think we've kind of gotten to talk to our family as much as possible. Uh, let's see, what is Queen Cora getting? Oh, Princess Cora. Where did Prince Louis go? Did he go home? Did he willingly go home? What? I don't know where he went. That was super, super strange. I don't know if Princess Cora got to meet, and, and Prince Edmund, I don't know if they got to meet all of their nieces and nephews. Princess Cora definitely met Princess Amira. Prince Edmund needs to introduce himself to her, so he'll do that. And then where are our other nieces and nephews? They are kind of just like all around the house. There are toddlers everywhere. Oh, okay, there is Prince Kellen, so we should probably introduce ourselves to him. Looks like Princess Cora has already introduced herself. It looks like Prince Edmund has also introduced himself, so I'm going to just have him interact with, uh, yeah, interact with them a little bit more. And then I don't know where Princess May is. I don't know if Prince Edmund has met Princess May yet. I think we're just going to wait for Princess Edmund to introduce himself to his nieces, niece and nephew. And it looks like he did already. So we're going to go travel to the royal family of Brindleton Bay. I guess I should probably also travel to the royal family of Oasis Springs. I don't know. This is kind of a big traveling thing. And we're kind of just focusing on the royal family of Willow Creek. So hopefully you guys are okay with this. Oh, you know what? Let's bring all of them over. Yes, we can bring them all. Oh, I don't have enough room. Okay. Well, I guess we'll watch the kids for you guys then. Do we have all of them? That's our kid. What, this is their kids? Yeah, we have them all. We're just bringing the kids. We're babysitting the kids for the day, guys. Oh my gosh, we have 12 royal toddlers, guys. That is so many toddlers. That's insane. Oh, okay, so this is Princess Cora's hot weather outfit, and I thought this was just the cutest thing, so I'm super excited about her hot weather outfit. God, they're babysitting them all. They are just... Okay, this is Prince James of Brindleton Bay. So I think this is the younger one. So we're introduce ourselves to him. This is Prince Jack. So that's a, that's our child. We have to keep track of everyone. Oh my god, I forgot how much I love this castle. This castle is amazing. It's so amazing. We oh god, why do all of the kids? They stink. We're just oh gosh, we're like the ultimate chaperones right now, guys. This is crazy. And then he stinks too. <laughs> We are with a bunch of toddlers, so it makes sense. There's just, oh my gosh, they are everywhere, guys. They are everywhere. I cannot get over- Oh, she's hugging her cousin! That was cute. Babel. Alright, come on in. Okay, so we need to somehow get all of the toddlers in here. Princess Cora, I have just got the gig for you. The acting world is all about reputation, and with yours, you'd be the talk of the town. No, that's our sister's thing. That is not 
Princess Cora's thing. So, no thank you. All right, so we are here in my favorite castle, the Castle of Brindleton Bay. So we need to meet our other, what is he doing? Is he, st okay, that's a dance floor. I thought that was a pool for a second. Oh my gosh, they treat this like a pool. That is so, f oh, I forgot about our puppy. Oh my gosh, we have to say hi to the dog. I, can the toddlers wake him up too? Okay, I need, I need us to introduce ourselves. So share the love with, I guess it would be her second cousin? Would be the kids at oh, uh, Brindleton Bay, I guess? I don't know. I think so. I don't really know how that works. This is just, oh, it's such a big family, guys. This is insane how big this family is. I didn't realize Princess Cora was so close with Queen Nina, too. But introduce yourself to the toddlers. Oh my gosh, they are just, they are everywhere. Guys, they are everywhere. I can't even... Oh my gosh! They are just taking over the world. They are literally, they are making their messes and taking over the world. I don't think we can discipline Princess Amira though, but she's making a mess in their castle. Can you... I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't, but we can clean it up whenever she's done, I guess. So she's going to need to clean that up. Princess Belle, you need to go... You guys need to come inside. Come on! What are you talking about out here? You are just... The cutest. I can't even take this. I mean, look how cute she is. Oh my gosh, guys. She is adorable. They are all so, so cute. Yeah, you guys can see Princess Belle's hot weather outfit too. I thought this was like the cutest hot weather outfit. I love it so, so much. I know it's very similar to her cousin's everyday outfit. I think it was Princess Amira that has an outfit that's similar to that. But, oh my gosh, it is just the cutest thing in the world. Why is everyone calling Princess Cora? I hear the festival t-shirts are out of this world. Um, no, we're okay. We're kind of, we have your children right now. So we're going to take care of them. What is, oh, okay, Princess Cora is waiting in this pool. Man, it's just like a dance party everywhere. And what are with these lights, too? I mean, this is a lot. Like, this room is kind of, kind of spooky looking, almost. I don't even know what, they are just, they're everywhere, guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. All right, well, I think that, have we, have we introduced ourselves? Oh, no, we haven't. All right, introduce yourself. What are you doing, dancing? No, just introduce yourself. You guys are too much. All you care about is dancing right now. This is just way, way too much. And does Princess Edmund know Queen? No, she doesn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't know her very well, apparently. So we need to fix that. So do a friendly introduction. This is your cousin who you're apparently not that close with. What? You... What? No. You guys are cousins. They're definitely cousins. There's no doubt about that. King Jared. Uh, yeah, cousins and co-workers apparently too. All right, well, I think that, have we gotten everyone? Oh no, you need to also introduce yourself to Prince Johan. It looks like Princess Cora knows him pretty well. Oh my gosh, Princess Belle is like the sweetest child. She's going around hugging everyone and it's the cutest thing ever. Okay, so now I think we have introduced ourselves to all the toddlers. It looks like they are doing pretty well here, except for the fact that our kids are making the most giant mess everywhere. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I hope they have a butler. I don't think we actually got a butler for them yet, so we probably should, so they can actually clean up this mess. We're gonna go, um, because we have just destroyed this palace. Our kids are destroying it. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I mean, look at that little family photo right there. That is too cute, and they're all wearing blue. Oh my gosh, they, I, I want like a picture of this, <gasps> that, but it's just like, it's so small that you couldn't get like the best quality from it. So, oh my gosh, but that's, that is so cute. All right. So we are going to go and go to the family of Willow, of Oasis Springs. Oh my gosh, I cannot. Okay. Well, yeah, we probably, you know what? We probably should bring Prince Johan but I don't think we'll have enough room to bring them. We'll just, we're still taking care of the kids of, of Windenburg, so we'll just bring them for now. And then later on, I can have Prince Johan and Prince James meet their actual cousins, because they are actually like their first cousins. Oh, it's so confusing. I can't take it. It's just, it's so incredibly confusing. While we're here, 
why don't we go ahead and age up the little babies of Oasis Springs? I feel like we could do that. I think, I mean, like, I know they were just born the last game, but, like, they need to catch up with the rest of the toddlers. This is just, this is a lot. I don't even, oh, I guess so, like, when I was counting the toddlers that I said there were 12. Technically, there's only 10 toddlers, but we're about to age these up. It, Oh my gosh, age these up. But we are about to age Princess Megan and Prince Michael of Oasis Springs up. So now there's going to be 12 toddlers, which is just, oh, it's so dang much. I can't even, oh no, why does he have stuff all over him? Ew, what is that? That looks gross. That looks like little scratches or something. We have medicine for you. Don't you worry. We're going to fix you up prince edmund so you will be all good somebody is calling princess cora again why is she so popular hey i heard you and queen alice's of windenburg oh my god i don't know i heard you and queen alice windenburg are good friends now you're getting more popular clearly you're a good person to know ah uh, yeah that's her favorite aunt that just called too so she is like not become an elder at all she's just not aging up and i don't know why oh my gosh guys literally it's attack of the toddlers Seriously, they are just like gaining up on us. <laughs> Look at this. Look. Oh my gosh. Just watch this. It is, they are just coming in. They are like, oh my gosh. They are coming to attack every, um, they all still smell too. We're bringing smelly toddlers into this castle. This is not good. Princess Amira is out there standing there like, um, I smell. Can someone please change my diaper or bathe me or something? Why is Prince Edmund still- wait, oh no, you need to take your medicine. What are you doing? Take your medicine. Take medicine. Because you have weird stuff all over you. Alright. Alright, where are the kids here? We need to- what? Wow, she's super casual. Queen Arya is- oh, wait, what? You- you- okay, you have met Queen Arya. I was like, wait, what? Has Prince Edmund met Queen Arya? He has not. He needs to introduce himself to her because she is a very, very important person. And I'm pretty sure he knows. Yeah, he does know Princess Lindsay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. So we, oh my gosh, they are just, they're too cute. Princess Amira came running in here. All right. Princess Belle, introduce yourself. Share the love because your cousins or your, your, oh, you can talk to him. Talk to stranger. Okay. I meant to say your brothers. I did not mean to say your cousins. They're way over here, though. Why? Why are you over here? Can you not get in? Go in. What are you doing? Are you stuck out here again? Why are they always stuck? I don't understand why. Can I teleport her in here? I'm gonna do that. It's just, like, so much easier. All right, there we go. We have just teleported her in. I need to teleport Prince Jack, too, because I'm pretty sure he's also out there. It's getting dark again. We've been at this for, like, a almost 24 hours why are you no princess amira she i swear she makes the most mess out of anybody she is just messy she is she's such a little she is she's a troublemaker i wasn't expecting her to be such a troublemaker oh and then we have princess naya too here she just changed into her pjs all by herself looks like she's oh she's going to bed she's so cute she's adorable i'm glad she likes her little toddler bed all right, so Queen, or not Queen, Princess Belle. Who, who? <gasps> Princess Amira, you little troublemaker. Oh my gosh. And her parents aren't even here to discipline her. She is being such a little troublemaker right there. Do you, oh my gosh. She is just, she is terrorizing everything. What is happening? Why are you being like this? She's the oldest too. And she is not setting a good example for the rest of her cousins at all. Why can't I turn my, my, okay, there we go. Okay, so thank you, Prince Edmund, for cleaning up after her. Jeez. Okay, so we are going to age up. Is this, wait, is this, is this Megan? I think it's Megan because she's the older one. I'm, yeah. Because, yeah, you can tell by their, their little onesie thing. So the girls wear the yellow and the boys wear the green. So I'm going to have Princess Cora be in charge of aging them up. So Princess Megan can be aged up first. And... Oh, she just, like, tumbled out of there. All right, so I need to change her outfit, so I'll definitely do that. So that's Princess Megan. She's got brown hair. And then I'm assuming her brother's also going to have brown hair, but maybe not, because Princess Belle has blonde hair and her, her 
triplet brothers, twin brothers, triplet brothers, have brown hair. So we don't know what kind of hairstyle or hair color that Prince Michael is going to age up with. So this will be interesting. I am getting used to Princess Lindsay's hair like this. I do like it a lot. It just looks so long and luscious. I love it. Oh my gosh, is that him? Prince Michael. <gasps> He's blonde. What? All the boys are blonde and all the girls have brown hair, guys. That is so interesting it is just like a mix with these families now it is so 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 strange so princess court why don't you just introduce yourselves to them i'm pretty sure we can end this video here now guys it's been quite a while i oh gosh what is princess cora who's she playing with is she playing with your wait what is happening oh my gosh all right something's glitching here that's not that's not that's not okay yeah oh gosh that was really scary her arms looked demonic oh my gosh guys there's so many toddlers this is insane i'm gonna have to get two more taller beds god bless princess lynn and prince adrian because they have four toddlers guys that is so crazy i'm going to change their outfits soon too on another episode i will show you guys the new outfits that i pick for them but i'm gonna end this episode here because we have just been been just been toddlers non-stop it's just been toddlers here toddlers there this whole entire episode so in the next episode i'm i mean there's still gonna be toddlers we'll see when princess amira is supposed to age up i'm not like quite ready for her to age up now um but it might be time i mean there's only so much to do with them when they're toddlers it's just oh gosh it's there's so many right now guys we have so many toddlers i'm gonna have to find that mod where they can all like be like have a more people in their group of friends because I feel like this is just all going to be one club is like 12 of the toddlers or when they're kids they're going to be 12 kids that is so so much but I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here I hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications don't forget to follow us on twitter at Mira Ray underscore and if you guys have any suggestions or any comments definitely post those in the comments I love reading them I love seeing your guys' suggestions I love taking them into consideration for our series you guys can also do the same on twitter you can always tweet at me and make a suggestion but we will see you guys the next episode bye guys